Hello friends and family and welcome to the Wednesday, July 29th edition of the Crippling Anxiety Fireside Chat. Uh, for those of you who are friends of friends, as I found out sometimes there are, um, this is uh, not meditation instruction and I am not a meditation teacher. This is just a short conversation every day about the meditation practice you may either already have or are trying to build. And in the case of trying to build a meditation practice, as I said yesterday, I wanted to talk about this idea of uh, coming from outside in. So we were talking about how on the outside, but uh, very close, is this idea of imagination. Um, it feels internal, but imagination is still outside of your internal reality. And then outside of that, you have aids, so meditation apps and meditation audio instructions, that sort of thing, guided meditations. And even further outside of that, you have not meditation at all. <laughs> you have things which may help bring you closer to a meditation practice. And a very strong example of that is exercise. However simple the exercise, however slow the exercise, however relaxed the exercise, any amount of exercise is better than none. And if you are struggling uh, during the pandemic to get any exercise, um, if you are stuck inside an apartment in a city, your best option is probably a short, excuse me, at home exercise program um, or a brief yoga program. Um, and if you have access to the outdoors, then your best options um, are probably uh, walking or some very light jogging um, or riding a bicycle, possibly, if that's open to you. Um, some of us may be fortunate enough to have access to a facility where we can swim, but that's um, probably few of us, I would say. Uh, this idea is, um, is one that is both intuitive and supported by a, a great deal of scientific literature and research, which is that our, our physical and mental health is, is bound up in itself and as our physical health degrades our mental health degrades um, and one influences the other um, and you can end up in uh, a bit of a spiral in either case so you can either be spiraling downward quote unquote um, where you're mostly sedentary, you're finding yourself stuck in bed, you're finding yourself stuck in a chair or on the couch, um, and your mental health is degrading in one way or another. So uh, during a pandemic, you may be finding yourself anxious, but you may also find yourself feeling all sorts of strange things, just simple lethargy, um, depression, uh, uh, distrust uh, I'm finding a great deal amongst folks and amongst myself <laughs> um, and uh, it is arguably easier to begin with the external to begin with exercise so if you can convince yourself one day to get up and go for a walk to go outside or to do 10 or 20 Surya Namaskars or some other exercise in your home if you can't leave your home. You at least get the blood moving, you at least get your body engaged again um, and you relax yourself a bit by way of doing that exercise. On the other hand, we shouldn't start feeling guilty if we are not exercising. That is not helping us at all. 
And I wanted to read a brief quote by S.N. Goenka regarding guilt, because this is often a, a problem. Um, and my very first Vipassana teacher actually mentioned this to me. That he said this exact sentence, there is no guilt in Vipassana. Um, it's simply not there. Uh, whatever guilt you're feeling is, is just a negative emotion. It's coming up and um, you have to deal with it in the same way that you deal with any other negative emotion. But your guilt is not productive. It's not helping you move toward the thing that you want to be doing or the thing that you're feeling guilty about. And so in, uh, in Essen Goenka's words, he says, feeling guilty will not help you. It will only cause harm. Guilt has no place on the path of Dhamma. When you realize that you have acted in a wrong way, simply accept the fact without trying to justify or conceal it. You may go to someone you respect and say, well, I made that, this mistake. In future, I'll be careful not to repeat it. And then meditate, and you will find that you can come out of the difficulty. Now, I realize that this is a bit self-referential. Uh, he's speaking there to old uh, Vipassana students, old meditators. So he's assuming that you have some meditation practice to fall back on. Um, if you are finding that you're trying to exercise so that you can get meditating with an app or with some instructions so that you can meditate on your own, um, it's difficult to say, oh, I didn't exercise. <laughs> Let me meditate <laughs> instead. Um, but the same rules apply that the guilt is not helping you in any way. It's only causing harm. So if you find that you can't get up and go for a walk, if you can't get up and do a small yoga practice or a small uh, workout at home, um, that's okay. You just need to accept that and be okay with it. And without the feeling of guilt, you can try again tomorrow. So I hope that in this way and in other ways, you are taking care of yourselves and you are taking care of your families and your friends and friends of friends. I will be including a video uh, at the end of this video um, to, it's a CGP Grey video about our present predicament. Some of us in the world, some, some countries are, are getting out of the predicament a bit, but if you happen to be stuck at home and you're finding yourself kind of spiraling into one of these situations, uh, I like his imagery um, and he also recommends beginning with exercise. So I'll link to his uh, little animation and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Goodbye.